Let's bring you to some budget fragrances for the holiday season. You're gonna be strapped for cash. I know some of y'all are bleeding, hemorrhaging money as we speak right now. I get it. The way my bank account works is that it works in overdraft increments. Catch me outside, how about that? You ever open your bank account like nervously like and then do the swipe and you're like oh. Like if you just got shot, there's like nothing more uncomfortable than debt. These credit card companies abuse us with interest rates. So I'm gonna provide you with a list of eight clone fragrances all by the House of Latafa, ones that I think are really solid options from the House of Latafa that they executed beautifully, that essentially you can purchase all eight for the price of one niche fragrance. See, Uncle Cuba can save you some money while you're spending it. Let's roll my music so I can put you on to eight Latafa bangers that you can all buy with the purchase of one niche come on bro you can't do better welcome to the youtube channel that will make you laugh more than a gaggle of unicorns mating in the <laughs> serengeti his wealth of knowledge will make the most astute astrophysicist question his life decisions led by his spiritual advisors chuck norris and walter mercado i present to you mr kind of a big deal kind of a big deal beautiful people you know who it is it's your boy c to the u to the b to the a i am nervous today i am getting a root canal they are going to be just fisting my tooth and destroying all these nerves i am ner are any of y'all a dentist in like the new york tri-state area they got gentle hands that want like promo man don't hurt me, please. All right, enough of my bitching. Latafa has been making a splash in the last 12 months in the fragrance space. And I don't think it's just because they're doing really good interpretations. I think the affordability factor is there. We're hitting a financial decline. The recession is here. Scented water hypeness the last couple of years has increased. There's become more of a phenomenon in the fragrance space of people just joining this community. They want to be down. They want to smell exclusive. They want to smell sexy. But then they start realizing that, yo, this shit costs how much to play this game? I don't, I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. But then it's like a drug, bro. They need it. They're like, oh my God, this is a new niche that came out. I give me, you know what I'm saying? It's crack. It's hair on, fam. Like, what are we doing? I am an addict. So let me just put you on to the ones that I like. Some of these are doubles and triplicates because I've usually bought bundles and I always forget what I buy and shit. So I'm also a victim of when people come over. I just like giving shit away. Like here, just if you love it, then take it. You know what I'm saying? That's fam, you know? Like if you in my circle, you might here, take it. Charity? Then I need it for a video and I gotta buy this shit again. I don't know if any other creator goes through that experience, but yeah, sharing is caring, bro. I gotta give to my family. Not to any of these other leeches. So the first fragrance is one of the hypest in the lineup. You'll already know just by me saying that what this fragrance is. We all know what's an interpretation of and that's Latafa's camera, which is Angel Share's interpretation. I want to call it more of an Angel Share kind of twist. Angel Share inspired the idea behind this fragrance, but I don't think it's a one-to-one -one exactly. I think it has a lot of its own personality in it, and of course, your skin determines how it finalizes and how it's really going to smell off of your skin. Ultimately, it is ultra sexy. The dates, the cinnamon, the tonka, we got all those notes, right? It's just sexy, boozy, warm, very seductive. It's an absolutely perfect date night scenario where you don't gotta blow the bag because you know there's no such thing as a date that is going to cost you under $200. We all know that list that came out that shorties don't wanna go to no Applebee's, no Red Lotte, no Olive Garden. Olive Garden is real Italian food. Hard. Don't be so olive garden. So if you're getting that type of problem, I mean woman in your life, then you wanna save a little bit of money somewhere, right? This can potentially help you on that date, at least saving you some money if you're not gonna get the compliment and blow the back, cause she's not gonna give you butt at the end of the night. Let's be clear. I mean, we can all hope, right? Next one. I have given this bottle away three times. And all three times that I bought this presentation, the damn thing came cracked. And that's Eternal Oud by Latafa. Three times. I, this is the third bottle because I've given the other ones away because people absolutely love the look. That's what catches their eye right from jump. And then it's the scent. They're like, oh no, but the shit smells good. It doesn't only look fire. But the bold dome cover cracked every single time. It's insane. Now this is supposed to be in the space of MFK's Grand Soir. Grand Soir, as I've made it really clear, is a great fragrance, but not like up there with my top for some reason. It's on everybody else's top, but for some reason for me, it's just not mine. I'm a 
super amber fan, but I'm gonna take a step back and revisit Grand Soir. Cause it has been a long time that I haven't smelled the fragrance and it just didn't move me. And I felt like the price point just didn't match the type of energy that I was looking for out of the fragrance. But people's tastes do change. Your palette gets a little bit more refined. You start to like different things. So I think it's a good opportunity for me to revisit that. And this is a great interpretation of maybe I will like it even more now. Now Eternal Oud consists of vanilla, plum, benzoins, oud, tanka, and of course like this beautiful crystallized sugar ambery vibe. Like it's a very good gem for the price. Very slept on, great presentation minus the stupid dome. If you've ever got this fragrance and you actually got a dome that's intact, send me a picture on Instagram because I just won't believe you. Next one. I want to say that this was the first introduction to the Latafa house which really like impressed the shit out of me with Oud for Glory. We all know that this is Initio's Oud for Greatness clone. I want to say that this is the trailblazer for the entire Latafa lineup. Like this set the standard for them to step their game up based on the reaction that a lot of us had when we smelled this joint. It started off at a $20 price point on Amazon. Like it was an Amazon Prime joint that you can get that was an interpretation that looks almost identical to the Initio joint with almost identical scent profile. Performance matched, scent profile matched, the look matched. But what didn't match was the fact that one you were spending 300 bucks and the other one you were spending $20. So essentially this should be on Latafa's greatest hits wall of fame if that even exists. Next one. Now this one apparently is an interpretation of a Billie Eilish fragrance called Eilish and this one is Latafa's Nebras. Not Negras, Nebras. Chosen these words with care. Easily a unisex fragrance that I would absolutely love to sniff on a random woman in the street. Why not? It's got a beautiful buttery vanilla cacao mixture, musky and super sweet off the skin. It's very warm, very sexy, very close encounter. It plays really nicely off the skin. Might lean a little bit femme to some people if you're not into that gourmandy flow, but the cacao here, that chocolatey essence, that dustiness of like a quick chocolate milk mixture, that might not be some dude's vibe. It's definitely my vibe. I want a little bit of chocolatey love in my life. Lord knows I need it. Very sexy, really good performance, completely unique. I haven't smelled the Billie Eilish joint, so I can't say if it's a one-to-one -one or even a clone of it. I can't agree to that, but what I can agree on is that this joint is really, really really good next one let's bring the fuck boy jersey energy up in this piece you know what i'm saying Qued Al Fursan, which is essentially like a little hybrid, a little Dior Sauvage, a little Dillian Blue, a little Blue de Chanel, I'm out of breath, I'm probably having a stroke, I'm so not athletic. Am I talking a lot? I feel like I'm talking a lot. Sweet, Ambroxan, pineapple, juicy, fruity, fuckboyish, hairspray, gel, a little bit of suntan lotion action, spray tan energy. This is just pure fuckboy vibes that I respect, bro, because some of the dudes get the baddest chicks. I mean, they're an absolute headache. Their father did some time. They have shitty hair extensions, fake eyelashes, fake hair, they got makeup on, you don't know what they really look like under all that shit, and you might wake up next to a fucking sea donkey, but the dude who wears this is looking for that type of broad. She's not forever, she's for the streets, or for right now. Next one. Mm. Warm, sexy, I mean Barry White, give me a little Sade, give me some Anita Baker, crank on the Anita, throw back George Michael before he started touching dudes booty holes in bathrooms. Latafa's intense oud. <sighs> Bottle two, splendid. Warm ambers by the fireplace. This is kind of Christmassy. If you have a fireplace or if you live in the hood or in the projects and you have your and your fireplace consists of a bonfire, that's fine too. Y'all could be sexy next to a bonfire. Not everybody needs a fucking fireplace. It's just a holiday song in a bottle. Just nuts roasting on an open fire. You know what I'm saying? That's what this shit is. And they did a great job with this cheapy joint. Get it like on Amazon. It's this cheapest shit next week. I've said it a couple times. I did not expect to like this one at all. I thought it was going to lean one way and it went the absolute opposite. Latafa's Assad, which is Dior Sauvage Elixir, almost like one-to-one. -one. This is like a breaking of a chromosome or a gene and shit, like twins that were separated at birth or concocted like the movie Twins in a Laboratory. Have y'all ever thought about the movie Twins and how Arnold Schwarzenegger's character that was cultivated, like they really had eight dudes jizz into a cup and they inserted into one young, young, young looking broad to produce this mega human individual who ended up being escaped into an island, Epstein's, to be covered up because they had Shorty who was like ultra young with like eight dudes whacking it to her. Like that shit is weird, no? But back to the scent though. It's a great scent, very fuckboyish. And if you're gonna pick any of the Dior Sauvage, 
flankers. Elixir would be my personal preference, and this is almost damn near spot on for the price. Amazing performance. I'm talking about eight hours, plus off the skin, beautiful coffee essences, peppery, vanillic, ambery, loud, obnoxious like me. It's a very, very good scent profile for going out clubbing in date night scenario. So Asad, a Latafa must have. And finally, this is supposed to be Ise Miyake's Polaris, which I don't remember smelling, but Q Ed, I think that's how you pronounce it, is just pure gentlemanliness in a bottle. This is too classy even for someone like me. This has to be somebody who rocks sports coat, suits, and who cares if it's a Josh A. Bank, right? It's a Uli leather fragrance with cardamom vibes. It's very sexy. It's kind of smoky. There's a little bit of a foamish action there. It smells like a freshly clean shave. There's also a little bit of a subliminal earthy mintiness in here at the dry down off of my skin that provides like this air of like effervescence energy and like mm, breath of fresh air. There's a liveliness about this scent profile, but it's ultra masculine. It's definitely not in the fuckboy space of an Assad. This is a 35 plus individual who's, you know, about his business. His mouth matches his wallet. That's the type of energy we're living on, right? And that's essentially what we have here, bro. Eight super solid Latafa fragrances for you to have in your arsenal. They all have a very nice distinct quality about each of them, so much so that you can all place them on the table. And the only one that would have some sort of slight similarity to each other, I would say would be Assad and Qad al Zen kind of, but this one has so much more maturity and body that it wouldn't be a repetitive cop at all. I'm telling you, like for my peoples, like this ends up being like easier gifts to be given, clearly. There's multiples, like for holiday season, if I'm gonna give fragrances away to people who are like on entry point or just want something solid and they just don't care about a brand name or any of that shit, these are amazing gifts to be given, bro. You won't break the bank, they're gonna absolutely love it and you're gonna spawn a new culture of frag heads in your space. Just my thought. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart, which is your favorite Latafa fragrance, leave it in the comment below. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. He don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would...